Good morning, everyone. My name is Carrie, and I'm very happy to share this children's time with you. So our children's conversation for today is about a person named Marian Anderson. And Marian Anderson was a singer, and she was also an African-American woman. Now, that's not that unusual. We hear lots of Black people singing, right? Uh, but Marian Anderson was a classical singer. She was an opera singer. And when she was growing up, and even actually when she was an adult, nobody had ever seen or heard an African-American opera singer before. It just had never been done. Plus, Marian's family was really poor, and being an opera singer for your job means that you have to take a lot of voice lessons, and it's pretty expensive, and her parents couldn't afford that. But Marion had a dream. She wanted to sing opera, and she wanted to sing it at the Metropolitan Opera in New York, which is the best opera company. And she wanted to do this thing that no African-American person had ever done before. So she kept trying, and she sang at her church, and she tried to find a teacher, and she eventually did find a teacher, and some of her friends chipped in some money to help pay for the lessons. And so she was not going to stop. She said, well, if you stop having dreams and ideals, well, you might as well stop altogether. And she wasn't going to stop. She was going to keep dreaming, and she was going to keep trying. So it wasn't always easy. She was kept out of going to the music school that she uh, wanted to go to because she was black. And after that happened, um, she said, I was just terribly crushed. I was terribly disappointed. That was really hard for her. But she, holding on to her dreams finally paid off. She became the first African-American to sing in an opera at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. She kept trying. And maybe the best part of Marion's dream about being an opera singer is that she used those accomplish accomplishments that she had, not just to help herself, but for racial equity overall. She was like Martin Luther King, but with singing. So she said that her dream was to leave behind the kind of impression that will make it easier for those who follow. So she wanted to pass her dream on, and she did. So now lots of African-American men and women sing opera here in the United States and all around the world. And a lot of that is thanks to Marian Anderson's dream. So our colorful umbrella that we've been sharing during children's time um, is, our, you'll remember, is a sign of joy and hope even on rainy days. And so today I added a phrase that Miss Anderson said on our to our prayer umbrella. I'm going to turn it so maybe you can see it, but it says, sing what you love. And I put it on the blue part of the umbrella. So sing what you love. I hope you think about this week and find some opportunities to sing and be joyful. So let's do our repeat after me prayer. I'll say a few words and then you say them after me. We offer thanks, we offer thanks for dreamers true, for dreamers true, for all they are, for all they are, and all they do, and all they do. Let us become, let us become, Dreamers too, dreamers too, and bring new life, and bring new life to me and you, to me and you. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week and that you can sing in the rain, and I will see you for Children's Conversation another time.